Hello and welcome back to another episode of GNN News. This time, this is going to be very interesting. An entitled clone of a school teacher and an entitled lady got arrested because they were using a logic power without the government's permission, speeding, breaking into a headquarters, disturbing the employees, and finally running away from the police. Wow. Those are many crimes they committed. That's crazy they could do that. Before the news is over, we'll have some witnesses of the entitled Karen's crimes. John Calvinson, come here and tell us about what you did to those entitled brats. Those brats deserved what they've gotten. I arrested them because one of the citizens called us to inform us that one of the Karens just used a logic power without permission by generating a Lamborghini. They drove away very fast to the McDonald's headquarters. Luckily, my partner memorized their license plate. So, we were tracking them. Then, we found out they were at the McDonald's headquarters. We were about to arrest them, then they ran away once again. They were also driving really fast again. Luckily, before they got away, my partner shot all of the four tires in the Lamborghini. So, I arrested them. Now, the brats should be free by six months. That was all I needed to say. Bye. Okay. Hopefully the cop informed you pretty well. That was all of the news. See you tomorrow. Wow. I can't believe I'm bored today. This week has been boring since I... I wonder who's calling me. Hello? You've reached Marin Nova. How can I help you? Hello Marin Nova, we need to tell you something really depressing to you. Oh no. Not depressing stuff. I hate those. I know, I hate them too, but it is really important, your mother's surgery to get her lung cancer gone. Just. Failed. No 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 no. Please don't tell me I just lost my own mom. I'm sorry to say this, but you did. That was all we needed to say. Bye. No. I just lost my own mother. I can't take this anymore. I can't. I'm going to try to take a walk. I still can't take this any more. I'm going to take a shower, then sleep. Oh my goodness. I just got a very bad nightmare. I think the reason why they let my mom die like that because instead of being doctors, they are evil people that never let me get what I want. You know what? I'm going to go to the haircut place and a clothing shop to dress like an entitled Karen. Just because I feel like the world revolves around me. Good morning, Marin. I'm making breakfast for both of us. I know you're going to ask me. I'm making pancakes. Also, why do you dress like an entitled Karen? And your haircut is different. Hey, it is none of your business. I was going to tell you that you need to get out of the kitchen. Look, Marin. I'm making breakfast for both of us. I should be in the kitchen. Just wait until breakfast is done in the dining room. Shut up. You don't tell me what to do. I can do whatever I like. So, get out of the kitchen or else I'll call the police. No. I'll never get out of the kitchen. Plus, 
you used to not act like this. Please return back to your own self or else I have to kick you out of the house until you become a better person. Hey, did you just criticize how I act? Now, you'll pay for that. Why? <laughs> Help! Help! Someone help! My husband is abusing me. Someone! Arrest him! Help! Help! Oh! My! God! You are going way too far! Get out of the house right now! Fine! I'll get out! But, this isn't over yet! See you next time! Okay! Now, Marin and I are separated! Since she is now out of the house, I'm still going to make these pancakes, but eat them for myself. Hopefully she becomes a better person in the future. But if she dare doesn't change in the next two years, then I'll have to file for divorce. Let's hope this doesn't happen. I just finished cooking pancakes. Now, it is time to eat them at the table. Since I got kicked out of the house, I'm going to go to Go City to meet Entitled Miss Martin and Karen Lipstroll. I heard both of them are entitled in the news. Since they're in jail, I'm going to bail them out. Well first, I'm going to have to go to Rapper City International Airport. This is going to take about 25 minutes to get there because of all of that traffic. There is about 30 million people living in downtown Rapper City. Welcome to Rapper City International Airport. How can I help you? I would like one ticket to go Adamant City. Okay, that'll cost $329.99. Here you go. Thank you. Wait for about 45 minutes on one of these benches. Then, you'll be heading to the plane. Okay. Attention all T25 people, the plane is ready, you all may head to the plane now. Attention everyone. My name is John Hipson and I'll be your flight attendant. Please buckle up because the plane will be taking off in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The plane is taking off. If you have any questions, raise your hand and ask me. Hey, you are sitting in my row. Get off or else I'll call the security guards to push you off the plane. Ma'am, this is not your row. It's no one's row. Anyone can sit wherever they want. You need to learn that entitled Karen. Oh my god. I can't believe you called me an entitled Karen. I'm going to make you get off of the plane. Help! Help! Someone help me. A very rude lady is trying to push me off of the plane. Someone get guards and push her off of the plane. Why? -e 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 help! Help! Oh my god. You are being so annoying. I'm getting the flight attendant. Hello and what do you need ma'am? Flight attendant. Thank God you're here. This woman was bullying me because I was wearing all maroon, then she threatened me if I didn't get out of a row, then she'll beat me up. This Karen is not telling the truth. I was sitting in this row until she told me to get off of this row because she thinks it's hers while it's not. Obviously, when a Karen doesn't get what she wants, she lies and throw Karen tantrums. Look at her clothing and hair. It looks like an entitled Karen. I think you are right, woman with the very dark brown hair. So Mary, get out of this row or else I'll call the Guanamut City Police, so they can arrest you when you get out of the plane. Fine, I'm getting out of this row. I will sit on a row with no one in it. Okay. You are now safe man. You can sit and relax right now. Okay.
Finally! This is the only row without anyone sitting on it. Time to sit there. Attention plane passengers. We've arrived to go Animate City. You all may leave now. So, I'm going to call an Uber because I don't have my car with me right now. I wish I got a logic power from the black market, but entitled Miss Martin already has a logic power. Hello? Is this an Uber? Yes, this is an Uber. Good. I would like you to drop me off to the Go Animate City prison because I want to bail one of my friends out. Okay, the Uber driver will be here in about 13 minutes. Okay. Bye. Bye. Time to wait for 13 minutes. Welcome to the Gonamut City Prison. How can I help you? I would like to bail out entitled Miss Martin and Karen Lipstroll. Okay. That'll cost you $150. Here you go. Thank you. We'll get entitled Miss Martin and Karen Lipstroll if you... Entitled Miss Martin and Karen Lepstroll. Someone has bailed you two out of prison. Follow me, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We finally got what we want. Bye bye, stinky prison. Okay. I have Karen Lepstroll and entitled Miss Martin. Let's go outside and talk. Okay. Hello Entitled Miss Martin and Karen Lipstroll. My name is Marin Nova. I have became entitled because my mom died yesterday. I was being entitled to my husband, then he kicked me out of the house. Wanna be friends? Yes. Yes. I want another entitled person on our side. Okay. I want you two to meet my husband and two kids. Entitled Miss Martin. Please teleport my car using your logic power. Okay. I'll do that. Entitled Logic Activate. Teleport Karen Lepstroll's car to here. Now, it is time to go inside. <laughs> 